Tyler's still hopping around waiting for this video to start, so we're gonna go ahead and get in here. This will be the part two. Thomas was alone. This is the third chapter, if you missed the first video. It's kind of a strange little indie game. If you need a cape, there's no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero <laughs> without a cape. Well, I didn't want confusion. Oh, yeah. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. <laughs> it's both, I guess, platforming. You just ride clear to the finish line. Make sure there's no trophies anywhere. I'm gonna Keep an eye out for those a little bit more this time, since we missed one in the last level. There we go. And Thomas is back. And so is Chris. We have everybody now. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, <laughs> and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Claire arrived just in time. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. What's going on now? Oh, the water's filling up. Okay, so I need Thomas to go here and hit the button so the platform probably moves over. Yeah. Back on Claire. <clears throat> as the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many okay, restarts as it took. <laughs> Many resources it takes. Oh, there's a trophy right there. Come on, Thomas, you gotta get that. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good there sidekick. Go. Or was she more the lone Avenger type? She liked that. The sole no. hero in a world of oh, rectangles what? and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. <laughs> alone again. Let's get Claire up here. Go through this process like the four more times. The staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Oh, okay. Can't bring Claire up there first. Chris has to go first. So Chris is finished. And Claire, bring her, jump, drop her in the water, and John's gonna ride her across. But Claire has to finish first. Anything up here? One more trophy in this next five levels somewhere, so I gotta keep my eyes open. Got the whole game this time. Probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colours at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. I think Chris is the only one who can squeeze through there. Chris was the most obvious choice. He seemed stroppy enough, and nope. his jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. <laughs> yes, Chris, diabolical Chris, the fiendish Christopher. <laughs> we need a superhero name for Claire. 
there. Got nothing though. You scoot Thomas over. So John can make that staircase. Chris, get up there. Get in his portal. Make sure there's no trophies anywhere. Looks like we're good. Send Claire to the finish line. Claire's Whoa. downfall? They're just Skyrim. Claire was honest. And she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. And Black Spurs. Not seeing anything. So we're in the clear this level. Faster if I stack them on top of each other so I can move everything separately. Just one jump, I guess. Didn't help me out too much. Oh, that's cool. So Claire can, I guess, she can only jump in the water. Thought she'd be able to, to jump with other blocks on her out of the water, but it's only in water. Senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. John could probably make it across without the blocks, so I guess. Cross. John Whoa. was fully Whoa. aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. <laughs> Alright, try this again. Let's see if Claire can make it across by herself. I think she should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Thomas up there and John to finish this off. Alright, this one looks tricky. No spikes on the walls now. Is Claire flying solo? Looks like it. There's the trophy right there. Claire was alone. Which was odd. Wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Alright, how do we get oh, oh, okay, being so the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. Spikes? It was new. <laughs> Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. <laughs> Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. <laughs> Thomas was here. 
Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. So I wonder if I wouldn't have gotten the trophy in the last something had segment altered the matrix. Beating. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. This is bad. Okay, I guess we go down here. Chunks drop down. And let Claire go on the water, and then Thomas can get on top. take on chapter three which is really chapter four um hopefully, hopefully you guys are enjoying this like i said a little bit humorous kind of slow um kind of a fun little puzzle game though i kind of like it so hopefully you guys are enjoying the series i will see you in the next video and until then hopefully 